This will be compatible numbers part two. So the last time we did compatible numbers, I remember us using this. So I showed you that compatible numbers are usually friendly numbers that either end in a five or they end with a zero. But today, I'm going to show you another way to work with compatible numbers. And I'm going to show you three numbers that can be used as landmark numbers. So my three numbers are 25, 50, and 75. And if you notice, all three numbers either end with a five or a zero. These three numbers are considered compatible numbers. Sometimes when we are asked to use compatible numbers, we may need to find one of these numbers, a number that's closest to one of these that end with a five or with a zero. However, sometimes you may just need to use one of these three numbers, 25, 50, or 75. And if you remember, these numbers can be called friendly numbers. Why are they friendly numbers? Because they help us to do mental math so much more easier because of either the five or the zero. So I'm going to do a few problems and you will see how we can use compatible numbers to either add or subtract. This video, however, will focus mostly on 25, 50, or 75, using one of these numbers as one of our most compatible to help us either add or subtract. If you remember, we can use compatible numbers to either add or subtract. So let's look at this first problem. 432 plus 489. Now, if we are going to look at these friendly numbers, 25, 50, or 75, well, we would just look at these last two digits to determine which number is closest to one of these three numbers. So we have 32. Now, is 32 closer to 25, 50, or to 75? Well, 32 is closer to 25, so our most compatible number would be 400. 25 and then 89 what's most compatible would it be 25 50 or 75 that would be 75 so this would be what we would use as the most compatible number for 489 5 plus 5 10 i carry my one 7 plus 2 is 9 plus 1 also 10 and i carry my one 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 1, 9. And this would be our answer, 900. Using compatible numbers, it made it so much easier for me to do my mental math. I didn't have to draw circles or anything. So if I wanted, I could go ahead and solve this problem to see if it is actually close to this sum. 9 plus 2 is 11, and I carry my 1. 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 plus 3, 10, 11, 12, and I carry my 1. 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 1, 9, 921. Do you see how close these two numbers are? With using compact numbers, it made it so much easier for me to find my answer that's about close to the actual answer. Let's try another problem. Remember, in this video, we're only focusing on using either 25, 50, or 75 as our landmark of compatible numbers. How about 428 plus 162? If you're looking, remember, we start with these last two digits. 28 is it closer to 25 50 or 75 well 28 is closest to 25 so we would use this and 162 is it closer to 50 or 75 i we already know that this is so far from 25 so it would have to be either 50 or 75 and which one is it it is actually 50 so we would use 155 plus 0 5 5 plus 2, 7, and 4 plus 1, 5. Our answer would be 500.
75 575 now let's try with two digit numbers 47 plus 23 this might be a little bit simpler now let's look 47 is 47 closer to 25 to 50 or to 75 well it's not close to this number but is it closer to 50 or 75 well, if you said 50, you are absolutely correct. 50. And which one is this number closest to? 23. Is it closest to 75? Not at all. Is it close to 50? Not quite. Is it close to 25? Absolutely. So we would use 25 as the most compatible number. 0 plus 5, 5. 5 plus 2, 7. And there we have our answer. Now, what if I decided to solve this? 7 plus 3 is 10. Carry my 1. 4 plus 1, 5 plus 2, 7. Do you see how close the exact is to the compatible? And let's do two examples where we need to subtract because we have to do examples where we use compatible numbers as it relates to subtraction. So here's a problem, 532 minus 175. Now in this case, let's look at 532. So we are going to pay attention to this, these two numbers as well as this. Now 532, now we'll focus on 32. Is 32 closer to 25, to 50, or to 75? If you said 25, you're indeed correct. So we would use 525 and we would subtract 175 from this. Now let's look at this, 75. Do you notice something special about 75? I'll give you three seconds to think about it. Okay, well if you notice that 75 is already a compatible or a friendly number, then you're absolutely right. So we can have this stay as it is, and we can now solve for the difference. Five minus five is zero. Two minus seven, hmm. If I have two things, can I get seven out of it? I don't think so, so I will have to borrow from my hundreds place. Now I can get my 10 here. So 12 minus seven, can that be done? Absolutely. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Get rid of my 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I'm left with 5. 4 minus 1, 3. And that would be our answer using these compatible numbers. Let's do one last problem. One last problem. 57 minus 21. Once again, what are the compatible numbers? I wonder if you remembered. Remember, our compatible numbers are going to either be 25, 50, or 75. Now, which of these is closest to 57? Do you think it's 25? Do you think it's 50? Do you think it's 75? And guys, you could always draw for your hundreds chart. If you look for 57, is 57 closest to 50, 25, or 75? If you say 50, you are indeed correct. So you would use 50 here and 21. Which one is it most close to? If you said 25, you're correct. Here's 21, here's 25, here's 21, here's 50, here's 21, here's 75. Do you see how far it is? So the most compatible number would be 25. Now we can solve for the difference. Zero minus five, if I have nothing, can I get from it? No. So I must borrow from my 10. So I'm going to borrow one from my 10 and I'm left with four. And now I have an actual 10. Now, can I get 5 from 10? Absolutely. 10 minus 5 is 5. This is a doubles fact. 4 minus 2 is 2. And that would be our answer. 25. 
Now we could solve for this. Seven minus one is six. Five minus two, three. Are these two numbers very far from each other? No, they're not. But with using compatible numbers, it helps you, it helps all of us to do mental math because zeros and fives make everything easier for us when it comes to solving for the sum or the difference or if you're trying to multiply or divide. I hope this video was helpful for you. Compatible numbers part two. And as I'm about to leave, just remember, Compatible numbers are friendly numbers and they must end with a zero or five. So you may want to use the strategy of using either 25, 50, or 75, or as in part one, you may want to use one of the numbers that is closest to that either end 10 in a zero, sorry, or a five. I hope this video is helpful for you and thanks for watching.